Welcome to Nye House Education Center's presentation of Scientific Spelling. Scientific Spelling will give you a system for giving students the words they need and still teach them the structure of the language. When they know the structure of the language, they understand why the words are spelled the way they are and they can reconstruct them after the test is over. As students learn about the structure of the language, they'll begin to analyze and categorize spelling words into three different categories. Regular, rule, and irregular. Regular words are spelled just the way they sound. If you know about the patterns of the language, you can spell the words without memorizing them. Rule words are spelled the way they sound but there is a letter that must be doubled, dropped, or changed. The word running is a rule word. It's spelled the way it sounds, but as you write it, you must double the N. The irregular words are spelled in an unexpected way. You must memorize these words. When students analyze words, they have a strategy for learning them. The regular and rule words don't have to be memorized. The irregular words do. As students learn about the structure of the language, they'll learn that 80 to 85 percent of the language can be spelled by using information about the language. The percentage will increase as students learn about word origins and word parts. Only 15 to 20 percent of the language needs to be memorized. Scientific spelling is different from traditional spelling which has the students memorize 100% of the language for spelling. Scientific spelling is not harder, it's different. It's scientific in that students listen for sounds and translate those sounds in the most reliable patterns of English. There are three goals of scientific spelling. First, that the students will learn the reliable patterns and rules of English for spelling. By learning those rules and patterns, students can spell 80 to 85 percent of English without memorizing it. Students will learn a multisensory procedure for learning irregular spelling words. By using this procedure, students can permanently memorize irregular words. Most importantly, students will learn to analyze words for spelling. By learning to analyze, students know the strategy they must use to learn a word. Analyzing helps them apply what they have learned about patterns and rules. They're not just memorizing information about the language, they're using it. Let's take a look at your manual. The blue section is used for the first grade curriculum and for reinforcement. It contains phonological practice. The green section contains all the patterns that regularly occur in the language. They are alphabetized according to the sound, not the letter name. The yellow section contains five rules that tell students when to double, drop, or change. The red section gives information about irregular words. Lastly, the purple section gives information about procedures, lesson planning, and a suggested order of introduction.